Um, okay. Show. We got Blood Mage. Blood Mages can offer their own blood in order to summon minions to their side. Their minions are automatically activated and promoted at the start of each turn. However, minions overcharge upon reaching level 4. This means they trigger special effect and disappear from combat. Each minion has a different overcharge effect. Pathfinder. Pathfinders avoid taking damage in order to become more powerful with each turn. Yeah, that was the, the literal only bug was that the dialogue continued without the text and it repeated itself. And I mean, I probably could have reported the bug because you can do it just by pressing the escape button, but I'm sure that it's already been done. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, it's not like a bug that matters. Um, boy, taking damage in order to become more powerful with each turn. What time is it? My food is going to be here soon, but maybe. Let's do another run. We'll do one more. The last one took like three hours, I believe. I believe, I believe. The Pathfinder would have been great with the meme build that other streamer was using since it was all about stacking damage bonus and smacking with a single heavy hit. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens here. Summoner slash bludge mate run we could I haven't done either of them yet which would you rather see summoner or blood mage Let's do Summoner then, since he's uh, the 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 one I unlocked first. Basic fights, basic enemy, basic bosses, deeper enemies, basic fights, basic. Let's do difficulty two, I guess. Oh, you can like, is that just a him thing or like? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, their passive skills were locked, okay. With a summoned golem, a summoned abomination, or a summoned worm. Let's do a worm. Oh yeah, <laughs> has to be a worm. there's a stupid delay right now and I don't know why but we did go with the worm um, all right okay uh, what do we got here we got six coins or the six golden tokens I don't think that's enough for anything but we'll check we got her collect three hearts yet okay we'll go on I guess it doesn't really matter what quest we track since we're just doing it uh, we'll pop a candle Alright, 
in we go. All right, minions are the extension of all Moon Moonring classes. Each one does something different, so be sure to read their descriptions. Okay. Sure, thank you. Um, worm attacks random enemies and reduces their armor. Passive. Each hit reduces enemy armor by two and leaves a hunter mark. Six hunter marks make enemies vulnerable. Activation. Deals two hits to random enemies. Okay. After every received hit, damages summoner for its every level. Every level. Plus 5%. Or 5 max HP. Plus 15% damage. Okay. We're going to have to see how these things work. Um, a barrier. Activate a minion. Activate your minion to perform an action. Deals two hits to rent. Okay. Okay. Summon Fey. Fey weakens enemies and grants ultimate charges to its master. What's this do? Well, so it is the ultimate summoner once per round. Ultimate ability. Promote a selected minion. Charging. Activate a minion. Promote. Raise the level of your minion. Activate. Okay. Okay. Promote a minion. Activate a minion. Let's activate a minion. Let's promote the minion. I should have done all of that first. Um. give myself 10 barrier all right let's end okay can we see who he's targeting or no maybe no i don't know oh barrier stacks now right it doesn't leave Reduce the damage of all enemies by 50% this turn. Increase minions damage by 50%. Give myself more barrier. Promote them. Activate them. Alright, interesting. Promote them again. He's getting a he's becoming a big boy. Okay. Okay. I think we're getting there. Summon golem at level three. Activate all minions. Activate two random minions. Mm, I think we get Activate all minions. Every time a minion is promoted, increase your damage by 3%. Every combat, the energy cost of the first sigil you play is reduced to zero. Increase the damage of each minion at level 5 and above by 25%. I think that's probably worth it. In the first turn of combat, draw one additional card. With cost reduced by one, heal for five after every combat one. Let's put it in our weapon. Okay. On we go. This is the uh, the milestone. We'll probably grab a candle, but we'll wait. Okay. Minions don't attack on their own, they only attack when activated, and their attack damage is what they do when activated. Yeah. Yep. And so I think they should be promoted first. But I still can't tell if there's a way to tell who the enemies are attacking or maybe if the enemies always attack the minions. Like, 
What is your ability? Activate. Grant ultimate chargers equal to his level. Passive. Decrease damage of all enemies by 10%. summoner for every okay so they attack okay so they always attack the minions and whatever damage they take or no for every hit they damage me for their level okay so if I give myself barriers like right now every time he gets hit I'll take three damage he gets the barrier Giving him barriers worthwhile too, I guess. Because if he doesn't actually take hits, I don't get damaged. So we'll give him some more barrier. We'll also promote him too. Uh, oh, excuse me? You can just straight up hit me? Oh, that's not what I expected. Okay, maybe I'll just give myself the barrier every time. This is going to be, discard all hand, cards in hand and draw three cards. Yeah, just need to, um, yeah, just need to, to get into the, the flow for sure. The local hunters call this ancient spell the stag. We'll, re we'll rest. Mm. Okay, we'll give ourselves barrier. Activate minion. More barrier. Summon a golem. He tanks. Summon a golem. Heal itself. Activate him. Got one more. So activate him. Okay. We'll promote him. Increase minions damage by 50%. turn. We'll keep promoting him. Uh, activate all minions. Let's activate all minions. Okay, and then we'll promote. Oh, we should have promoted him first. We'll wait. I think it might be worthwhile to use the ultimate every turn. What do you gain from charging it? I don't think you can, maybe, you can, like, I don't know when you can use it. Maybe at these, at the different levels, probably here, at this mark here, it says turns to one X and maybe here, it turns it 2x and promotes twice and it gets to here and it promotes three times. 
Yeah, th I, I think that's what it is. That's the only thing I could figure because I tried to use it earlier when it was here and it didn't work. Um, so I'm assuming that that's what it is. At some point we'll get there to, to test it out. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll take that. Uh, pick a new card. Reduce the enemy's damage by 75% for two turns. Fey at level three. Whenever the minion activates, draw one card and gain one ultimate charge. Mm, yeah, it went. Oh, did it? I never noticed. Okay, sweet. Um, whenever the minion activates, draw one card and gain one ultimate charge. I think that's probably worth it. You can stack. Uh, stack promotions faster. Forgetting skills might be worth worth it here. I think forgetting skills would be worth it here. Seventeen minutes to my food is here. I think you can get rid of It ramps up our ultimate faster and gives us extra cards, yeah. Abomination attacks all enemies. Okay, I think we get rid of the Fey and get rid of the Worm, because we already have a Worm. And then we can replace them later with the cards that summons them at higher levels to start. I think that's the best plan. Who be you? Pack of enemies, the curse brought you again. Pretty sure that was the prison last time. I don't know if it's the prison again. Oh, tainted force. Deal one hit for three to five. What do you do again? Create barriers. And you heal. Activate a minion. Okay, I think we summon. Oh, it's one of these things, okay. Five to six. Hmm, not having. having any barrier was not great um the golem is going to take an absolute beating though okay so we'll take one damage we could promote I think we wait. All oh, right, we take damage from their levels. Right, 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 right. Right. Okay. Uh, give yourself barrier. Promote this dude. I need a barrier. Hmm, this is getting sketch. We need a we need a goal. Four charges needed for one X, seven for two. Yeah, I think so. Seven for two and nine for three. Yep. I 
think. Do you heal? Mm. Actually, he's going to take all the damage. He's almost dead, too. There's a lot going on here. Oh my god, he's doing 26 damage. Heal yourself. So you take all the damage. Got one energy left. You can either promote or barrier. I th think I barrier myself. I think I mismanaged how this this fight grossly. Healing is gonna be like healing the minions is gonna be be tough. But that will help. That will help. Walled Broch was once a prop. Yep. Does the Broch have any future other than becoming shelter for criminals or a mad hermit? Does it hate you for stealing its purpose? Okay, so, so this is different than last time. Because we saved, buddy. I think one enemy is fine. He's going to tank. We will take damage when he tanks, though. Also, the weird cards that make you lose damage, do they apply to you or your entire party? I, I don't know. I, I would think only me. Because it doesn't say allies as well. But I don't really know, or I don't really have anything to back that up. I'm just sort of saying things. Um, I think we just double activate this guy. Because he's going to take the damage again. Which is fine. Uh, reduce armor of all enemies. Yeah, I haven't even been paying attention to that stuff. Not being able to, or getting rid of armor is going to be interesting. Okay. I don't think we need to waste time doing this. This is two cards less. I think if we just smack them and continually just smack them and then barrier ourselves again I think we're fine okay increase the minions ax Ugh. Increase the minions of max HP by 50 and heal up for 15. Okay, there you go. Now you can start healing people. Activate a minion and draw a card. Start of each turn, the minion increases damage by 10%. I think you gotta get some healing. What is this card art? Um, gonna get me banned. Um, each turn, gain one ultimate charge. 
that could be good it again scales how quickly we can promote enemy or promote minions increase the amount of armor reduced by worms hit increase the amount of armor reduced by worms hit by one for each of its levels whenever you summon a worm increases damage by 100% until the end of turn so I think one of these two I think this because the scaling of the armor will be pretty good find a loose stone you find a small stash of valuables Let a hundred okay that's a lot of work for a hundred uh, hundred watch my call who be you the fortune seller I mean do I really care about the fortune seller no, not really I've also decided that I'm gonna save candles for longer instead of just popping them constantly okay barrier myself activate activate increases damage activate them activate them activate them we're gonna take a beating I wasn't really paying attention to that yeah level 5 worm would be removing 10 extra arm each activation yeah So he'll start chunking down armor real quick. Oh, I think my food's almost here. Uh, he's half close. Um. Okay, I think we play the golem. I think we play the barrier. I think we activate. I think we give. If he's taking all the hits, we give him more max HP, right? That makes the most sense. And it almost makes more sense to not promote him. Next hit does 75% less damage if not played. Lose 100 armor. I mean, I don't think I care about losing 100 armor, but I also. It's the one where you. What you were saying about before of does the damage affect everyone or just us? It's, does this hit affect. our minions or does it just affect us because if it just affects us i don't care if we have 75 percent less damage because we don't do any damage i also don't really care if we lose 100 armor because we aren't taking hits right now the golem is So expensive is the main problem. I think that's a good call. All right, my food is going to be here in a sec. Self. Activate. Activate. Just to activate. Alright. We're 
back in a second. I'm gonna go get this food. Cracked stam. Reduce armor of all enemies by 15. Increase max HP by 30. Or do we heal for five every battle? Probably the max HP. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's go here. Let's put the max 30 HP in. What are you saying? Good day, stranger. Are you in need of some guidance? I'll open the shop. Already got one of these. The this could be interesting. Oversaturated rune stone. Fully charge your ultimate ability. To get us out of a pinch. We'll take one. We'll take one. I assume, yeah, you're the big fight. Let's grab a candle. Let's. I think we level up a little bit more before we go doing that. Hit to 75% less 100 armor. You're gonna tank. This might be rough already. Okay, let's give ourselves barrier. Let's activate. Activate. Just keep activating. Alright. Oh, you're healing. Play Golem. Bury yourself. It's gonna take some hits, but I think you're fine promoting him twice, activating the golem once so he heals, then activating the worm. Increases max health and heal him. Increase the damage. Give ourselves some more barrier. And activate the worm.
seems like the rub with this one is going to be... It's just going to be slow. Once you figure out how to stop taking damage, it doesn't seem too bad, but... This turn, every attack has 20% chance to deal 200 damage. Again, I don't know if that affects the damage of our minions or what. Was it? it seems that your yeah. gift did indeed help this man to survive. But now the weird candle he got from you is almost extinguished. I don't know. The quest sounds like we need to not give him a candle. Last time we didn't give him a candle, nothing happened. The first time we gave him a candle, nothing happened. He'll refuse again. You know, just keep the golem up and keep buffing and activating the worm, and everything will eventually die, yeah. The man draws his weapon and attacks you the very moment you refuse his request. Something tells you that this precise moment has sealed his fate forever. Yeah, I feel like, uh... The golem... Is critical for sure. All right. The abomination, I don't really care about. When he's a higher level, he might be good, but equips damage of all enemies by fifty percent. Lose two energy. I think it's fine. I think. I should have promoted first. Hmm. I think I have to barrier myself. die he's not gonna die just keep giving myself barrier seems like there's a lot of RNG though as well because unless I'm missing it, there's no way to tell who they're going to attack. So it's just six random attacks. So you can't really prepare. But that was also easy enough. Yeah, that's why you have the golden tank, yeah. True. True, true. Place redirect effect on an enemy for two turns. So that way you can also aim where your worm is going to attack. Promote all minions. At the end of each turn, the minion gains 10 barrier. I think marking is going to be better. That way we can actually focus down enemies. Where 
Burdness Blade. Deal one hit for 25 damage. Pierce. If this card killed an enemy, hit a random enemy with 200% of damage dealt. Alright. Interesting. So do we complete the quest or what? It's not very good for us yet. No, it's really not. So I guess I'm supposed to just keep giving them candles. I guess I just keep giving them candles until... Uh, Meet an elderly yeah. woman shrouded in various colorful veils. As she sees you, she smiles mysteriously and raises one curious eyebrow. Brave warrior, fair, fearless warrior, you're on an important mission, aren't you? Helping people. Rebuild a village. Here, choose a card, any card. So, I think this is because I'm walking around with no worm. Oh, but no candle. So it is to an extent a positive, I guess, of not having a candle, but uh, I don't think I want that one. For each ally in combat, the minion increases his damage by 33% and loses 20 armor. Mm. Yeah, that's was a weird, weird event, okay. Sacrifice all minions. Increase damage by 10% until the end of combat for every sacrifice. None of these I want. Do I have to take one? All of these sound bad. I don't want to sacrifice any minions. So I guess we'll take Sign of the Rat. But you didn't think it would be free, did you? Now give me one of yours in return. Can I give you that one back? I... I could just give it back to her. <laughs> she disappears into the weirdness. Visit me anytime, well, anytime. That's funny. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't think I wanted it, to be honest. Backward speech thing is the sign of a weird event, okay. Yeah, I don't think we're in a uh, in a position to be like sacrificing sacrificing our minions and stuff. Get another weird candle. Ask for a blessing. Armor increased. 